Well, a hospital looking to help save lives this summer. It's kicking off a campaign to raise awareness about the dangers of swimming and what parents should really be looking for when their children are at the pool or at the beach. News 8's Bob Wilson is live at Hartford Hospital with a look at some things to watch out for. Bob? Yeah, you know, I learned something tonight. I always thought, you know, if somebody's drowning, they'll yell, scream, flail their arms around looking for help. But a lot of times, they just can't do it, and they slip silently beneath the water. Yeah, they're fine for a while, then they're not fine. And if you're watching them, you just have to be aware of that. As day two ends, a drowning victim in New Milford still missing, Hartford Hospital wants to make sure you stay safe. A little known fact, many drownings are silent. The person just disappears, and oftentimes the people watching the water don't even know that they're in trouble until it's too late. You might just see their head floating in the water, their hands might be moving underwater, they can't speak because they're just, they just want air and they're choking, and then shortly thereafter they go underwater. Many times a drowning person can't call for help because they can't get air into their lungs to yell. Many times they don't wave for help because they're pushing down on the water trying to stay on the surface, and a drowning person can remain vertical in the water while struggling for air, and they may look fine from shore. In Glastonbury, the Roaring Brook is a popular swimming hole where people end up in trouble. Lifeguard Dylan Young has seen it happen, especially when they jump off the cliffs. Very dangerous. You'll hit the bottom right away. Do they have people hurt back in there? Uh, I believe people have died there in the past, and on some of the cliffs there's actually little uh, memorials of them from when they died. Now, lifeguards say besides the obvious risks, the fast-moving water and the cliffs that you should not be jumping off of, they say there's limited cell service here. That's another thing to consider, as well as very difficult access for emergency personnel should you encounter a problem. Swim with another person, not being alone. Avoid rapid areas. Always know how deep the water is. Now I asked Dr. Smalley about life jackets and he says well it's 50-50 the the jury's still out on that because yes they save lives and they can keep you up but if you go out over your head and that comes off somehow you'll go right under if you don't know how to swim best just to stay where you can touch i'm bob wilson reporting live in hartford news 8